All right, let's welcome to the video. What we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create HL7 interfaces, servers and clients using the uh, simple HL7 library available here on uh, NPM. So, let's get started in my demos folder and I'll make a new new project folder. like to kind of get started the same way uh, with most of these so just create ourselves a package JSON file leave all the defaults for the most part we can change them if we need to and I like to put all my uh, code in a lib Folder. So pretty much all we're going to have is a app.js at this point. And to get started, we'll need to bring in the library. It's easy enough. Right, there we go. Now we got our folder. And we can take a look at the documentation to see how easy it is to sort of get started. And uh, in this case, we're going to create a uh, TCP server. So I'll type it out, even though you could kind of just uh, copy paste if you want. That looks like I like to uh, lowercase that. And that's all we need. There's no options in the uh, Constructor there. And the API is pretty simple. You only have one event to listen for, and that's a message. And what you're going to get there is a HL7 uh, message object. Now, that object is uh, kind of unique to the library here. And you can take a look at uh, the API for it. Uh, where is it? I guess it's not really. Don't really have much documentation here. Pretty much this is all you get. Uh, get segment, but I'll show you some of the uh, details on how we'll go about getting the uh, fields and segments that we need to kind of work with these messages. <clears throat> Uh, but for now, uh, what we're going to do is just uh, take that message and uh, log it out to the console when we get it. That's it. And you'll see to, uh, to start it, that's all we need right there. Pick a port number and we're good to go. And then we can just log a message saying and this is sort of a matter of preference, but I like to go in here and use the uh kind of start script option. I'll do node 
point that at our app. And we can change that for the fun of it. And now we should have a fully functional server just by going npm start. And there it is, our server is listening and as messages come in they'll get logged out to the console. So how do we test this? So let's uh let's kind of figure that out. To test this thing out, I'm going to load up a uh, virtual machine I have with an environment that has uh, the next gen EHR package installed, software rather, and that has a HL7 component uh, installed on it. So. Remind myself how this works real quick. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. All right, so now we are in, and let's see. I think I already have. Uh, here we go. Demographics. Demographics HL7. Next gen calls them agents, and all I'm going to need to do here is go into the options. You don't need to worry about these options here. You just have to trust me that this is a. Uh, this is real, so I'll just need to point this to the port that I assigned in there and just see what my IP address is. Six. Change that to six. Close that. So now we have a export agent from NextGen uh, that's going to send us demographic information to our custom HL7 interface here. So let's go back to that virtual box. Let's start it up. And I'm pretty sure this will just fail and die out because we aren't listening yet. So let's see if I'm proven right with that assumption. Yeah, let's stop that. And you see that it uh, failed out because we aren't really listening. Now, if all the stars align and it's as easy as I say it is, all we got to do is start up our server, start this guy, and now, poof, we are connected. Don't have any messages queued up. But all we got to do is log into our EHR system here. <laughs> Forgot the password that quick. So here we got our test environment here, and I'll just bring up a test patient, test PT. Haven't updated any demographics yet, so you wouldn't expect any messages, but you want to keep your eye out over in our console, because anytime I update something, we should see some activity. So let's say this person moved right next door park court okay that and
happened like magic. Wow. Bam. Just like that, we got a message in our console with the updated address. And you'll see that that message is sort of logged in here. We can kind of get a get a look at that and one thing I can display I think is how the acknowledgments are handled for you uh, when using that server component so after the message is sent uh, this acknowledgement message is sort of automatically uh, created for you using some of the details of the original uh, message being sent. You can take a look at have to take a look into the code on, on GitHub if you want to kind of see how that works but basically for right now it just works. You don't have to uh, to worry about it. I think in version um, 2 I hope to add in a way that you can kind of short circuit that acknowledgement automatically and do your own acknowledgments if you have some sort of specific requirements um, but you'll see right right like that um, we got the uh, server working what I'm gonna do now is try and kinda of show how the that HL7 message object how the API for that works so let's say we want to output uh, the patient's name and address for whatever reason rather than the whole the whole message so how we're gonna do that is we're going to get segment pretty much always need to start with that PID that's this guy right here and then more often than not you're gonna have to count uh, where these things are positioned and normally some trial and error helps but it will probably be one two one two three four five and get the fifth field and I believe it's just as easy as getting the first part test that's the last name We'll have to use zero indexed here, I think, for that array. This little thing will show up as an array. Zero. Copy and paste that. Get that first name and last name, and then we'll get... We'll just get the first part of the address. We'll call that address equals and this time we're gonna do six seven eight nine ten I think eleven and again we want that first part and now we'll do console done. make it kind of kitschy let's just give that a try see what happens oh what do we do here oh, forgot to log there we go now we're started Let's go back to our next gen here. This is still running, still connected. Next gen doesn't mind if you sort of disconnect and reconnect in the middle, as long as it's not really processing anything, I don't think. And now we're going to, let's say they move back. I didn't like that new apartment.
Got a little bug there. Looks like I wrote. Oh, missed this. Messed this up here. Just change that real quick. Restart that. And this time they're gonna move. They're gonna move across town to five six seven Lane Street. It's okay that. And you right see patient test has moved right there. So you can see how in just a few lines of code here we were able to get you know a fairly functional uh, HL7 interface you know connected to a uh, a real live EHR system and uh, hopefully you can see how that could be used for a lot of uh, a lot of cool stuff a lot of cool stuff so this is sort of my first video uh, from a new new sequence of them hopefully chronicling some of the stuff that I'm working on that I find interesting so hopefully this maybe has uh, given you some interest in using the simple HL7 library uh, it's easy enough to get started npm install simple HL7 and then you can uh, get started you got some server components that we demonstrate here there's also a client uh, maybe I'll make another video showing how you can use the client to send information into uh, an EHR system and I can demo this sort of quirky uh, message creation syntax um, uh, that I like to use and um, I think that'll be uh, that'll be the end of this video if you hung in this long it's been about I don't know how long but thanks for thanks for joining me